Hi everyone, so this video is going to walk you through the directions and I'm going to show you some examples for your midterm project for graphic arts design. So your midterm project is creating um, a CD for a band or an artist, can be real, can be fake, but the CD, um, like the CD that you're creating cannot already exist. So basically you can't take something that already exists um, and then make the same thing. You can make um, you can take an existing band's name or an existing artist and you can create them a new CD, but again, you cannot take a CD that has already been um, created and make the same thing. So your midterm um, project folder is under lessons, midterm project, and there are a couple of things in this folder that you need. This is the starter file. We'll come back to that in a second. These are the directions and this is the checklist that you have to mark off all of your um, techniques and tools that you use and then you actually have to hand this in when you present your midterm to the class. So I'm going to start with the directions and then we'll get into the um, starter file in a second. So here is um, the direction. So again, you're going to be designing a CD. So you're going to design the front of the CD case, the back of the CD case, and then like the middle part with the CDs that you would actually pop out of the jewel case. Those are the three parts that you're going to create. And again, I'll show you some examples in a minute. The um, fourth and fifth parts are you need to write a one to two page CARP document talking about how you applied CARP to the front of the CD, the middle of the CD, and the back of the CD. And then you have to create a PowerPoint presentation that has a picture of each one of your designs. And then you have to um, just like list short bullet points, talk about CARP, and then when you get up to explain your presentation, um, your CD, you'll explain CARP in a little more. Okay. And again, you can use an existing single artist or band, um, but you are not allowed to recreate something that already exists. Um, you're looking at this that the singer or band hired you to create the artwork for their next CD release. You can research CDs, you can come back to this video, and you can look at all the examples I'll show you at the end. Um, and, and you can obviously also ask um, your instructor for help. So um, you do have a checklist that will list all of this, but this is also in here as well. So these are all of the tools that you have to use at least once. Um, some of these are going to happen naturally a lot of times, and some of the other ones you have to be a little, um, you're going to have to be a little more thought out about how you use them. We haven't learned all of these things yet. You'll learn them over the next couple of weeks before your midterm um, is actually due. And obviously you're applying CARP to everything that you do for this midterm. Um, and then again, you're turning in all one big PSD file, you are turning in um, a one to two page CARP document, and then a PowerPoint presentation and your checklist. Here's how you're going to be graded. 40% of your grade will be on applying design principles, 50% on how you use the tools and techniques, and 10% on neatness of your project. So like, just like you would zoom in to check like all the little, de little details, I'll be doing the same thing. Now this is probably not a grade grading scale that you are used to. So this is a grading scale based on effort um, of these applied principles up here. So this is the grading scale and you can come back. I will also printed these out and hand, handed these to you in class so you have these um, as well. And then here is your checklist that you need. I will um, download this. So the checklist is something for you. You can write on this, you can take notes, um, but you do have to fill all of this out and then you have to turn this in when you present. Um, but again, it's just to kind of keep track for you. I also take notes on this um, and it helps me to grade your CD. All right, so let's show you the starter file. So everybody has to use the starter file. There's no exceptions to this. And I'm going to close these and show you how these are broke down. So you can see over here in your layers panel that you already have three pre-made groups. You have to use these groups and then you can create your own subgroups if you like. So again, it, notice when you open the front and the back panel, they are empty. This close the groups you're not working on and open the group that you are working on. Now it's empty because it's waiting on you to put in text and image and filters and all of those other great things. So it's gonna stay empty until you put some objects in here. And then when you're done working on the front group, you then have to open the eye to the other group that you wanna work on next. There's no particular order in which this needs to go, although it could probably be helpful if you started on the front cover so you could set up 
the theme for the CD in the back. When you get to work on the CD, there's already been a vector that's been created for you that will actually snap to the shape of the CD. Do not delete this and do not delete this content layer or you will have to know how to recreate the vector for the CD. So please, you can kind of see, if I hover, see, it is already created for you so you don't have to worry about creating it. The second you put something on this content layer, it will snap to the shape of a CD. And then if you're done with this group, you can open the back group and you can swing it open and then add all of your objects and items. So let me show you um, some examples of CDs while we're in here. I only show you um, A and B designs, really high B designs and A designs. I'll show you some more in class. So front cover for this one, back cover, and the thing that you're paying attention to on here is theme, right? Notice how it may vary just a little bit, but if you were to print out all three of these pieces, you know that they still go together. And then here's the CD. The color, the font color that was used in this CD is a little too close to the background. So just, again, go going back to CARP, just keep in mind um, all of those principles when you design this. <clears throat> So front, back, CD, and then this student actually created a background for their jewel case. So think about it when you pop out the CD of a jewel case, you know, there's still some artwork or design back there. That is not necessary. That goes back to that grading category that goes above and beyond. So you do not have to create this extra group. Um, unless you really want to. Otherwise, 99% of the CDs you see will look like this, and that's totally fine. So here is, and try and keep these labeled um, front and back. It would be, um, it's just a little more helpful to know what's happening. So here's the front of this CD. Here's the back. And again, keeping in mind, the copyright symbol that you need with the copyright jargon should be super small. It's like the least important thing on the back of this, um, on the back of these CDs. And then here's the CD. So again, that's the background of the jewel case when you open it, and this is the actual CD itself. Again, not required to keep that background, so it would probably, it would look just like this if you chose not to create the background. There's the front. Here's the back. And here is the CD itself. Oh, sorry, I showed you the CD first before I showed you the actual front. Here's the front. Might help if I went in order. Here's the front to this Best of Owl City. Here's the CD. Again, they created the background. It's, it is in, um, it's actually inside this folder. It doesn't matter if it's inside or outside. And then here's the back. Here's the front. And you can see we have all different kinds of themes. You can make up your own. You can use something, um, band or an artist that already exists. Like I said, here's the back. Try not to center your songs. Remember, we don't... Um, most CDs don't have songs on the center anyways. So, and then here's the CD itself. So see what I was saying? Like she chose not to have um, like a background of her CD, which is fine. All right, here's the front. So and again, an artist that already exists. Here's the back. Again, keeping with the theme. Move that little barcode down a little bit so it's not so close to these pictures. Um, CD. And then she chose just to create a white background for her CD. So again, this is what it looks like without the white. This is the white. Front. Back. 
Now, while this teal color was consistent from the front to the back, it really doesn't go with the theme. So be careful that you don't just throw in a random color um, that doesn't go with what's going on. Because see how there's like no teal anywhere else? So just be careful that you don't use a color that doesn't go with your theme. Here's a Christmas um, CD, Walking in a Winter Wonderland. The front, the back. Again, you can make up your own songs. If you would like, play on words. You're going to see some of these CDs, if you're paying attention, have really funny songs on them. And then here's the CD itself. And one more, and then I have more that I will show you um, in class. Oh, sorry, huh? that's the CD template. So check Blackboard um, for the due date, and then check your handouts as well. The drop box for you to turn in your um, midterm project is week nine. It's right here, and it's in this week nine folder. And then here is the drop box, again, with the directions, just to make sure that you've covered everything. Um, I will show you a PowerPoint quickly on um, what the PowerPoint is supposed to look like. Um, I'll pull this up and show this more in class as well so you can see it. So your directions also walk you through how to create this. So you need a title slide. doesn't matter if it has the three pictures on it or not. And then you need, um, the next slide has to have a JPEG image of the cover of your CD and see how she quickly just talked about CARP. And then when you get up to verbally present, you will expand upon CARP. Slide three has the CD on it. Again, you're explaining CARP. Slide four has the back image of the CD and then you're explaining CARP. And then the last slide has to have all of the pictures of the front, middle, and back. You get to pick the theme, you get to pick the design if you want um, of your PowerPoint, but it has to be created in PowerPoint and then uploaded with your PSD file and your CARP document. So we'll talk about this a lot in class over the next few weeks. Um, make sure you're on the right track. It is worth a good chunk of your grade, so you wanna make sure you understand what you're doing. And if you have any questions, just let me know.